the initial temperature of this metal bar was 20 degree centigrade everywhere it is 100 hello guys i hope you're doing great in this video we'll be understanding the newton's law of cooling and warming this is a standard law which is devised by newton and the law says that dt by dt equals k times t minus tm capital t represents temperature and small t represents time and this k is a constant of proportionality uh, this tm is actually the ambient temperature for example we have uh, an area or a room this is an enclosed area in which the temperature is maintained it is constant it is the ambient temperature called tm so anywhere throughout this you can say a cube all the temperature is everywhere tm it is not different at any point uh, inside the space this is called the ambient temperature so for all the experiment the temp this temperature tm is not going to change whereas this t is a function of time so we could write capital t of t similarly this k is the constant of proportionality and here you can see that this term is actually referring to the change in temperature with respect to time with respect to change in time so this is all there is to know about uh, you know the terms in this uh, equation this uh, newton's law of cooling and warming so as I, men I have mentioned in my earlier videos that we don't need to go into the laws of physics so these are uh, laws which are given to us so this is newton's law of cooling and uh, warming in order to understand this uh, law we can uh, simply go on and look at a uh, problem from the exercises and the problem states that a small metal bar whose initial temperature was 20 degrees this is problem number 15 from exercises 3.1 so there's a small metal bar right let's say this is the metal bar which is the temperature of this uh, initial temperature of this metal bar is 20 degree centigrade so i'm going to write capital T of 0 equal to 20 degree centigrade uh, next it says that it is dropped into a large container of boiling water so why are they emphasizing on the fact that this container is large and the water is boiling of course uh, this statement gives us uh, two informations the first one is that all the temperature inside this uh, container is maintained constantly it is a constant temperature throughout the container which is called the ambient temperature so by stirring or some kind of method it is maintained throughout the container to be constant so this temperature tm is mentioned it is not directly mentioned over here they are telling us that this the container has boiling water inside it so the temperature of boiling water is 100 degrees centigrade next it says that how long will it take the bar to reach 90 degrees centigrade if it is known that the temperature increases 2 degrees in 1 second so first i'm going to write the later information which is that in if the temperature changes to 2 degrees centigrade the time increase is 1 seconds so if i want to translate this change or this information into this initial value i could write that if the time becomes one second this is the time so it was at time zero so for time equal to one the temperature will be two degrees more than the previous temperature which which will be now 20 plus 2 equal to 22 degree centigrade right so this was the uh, information so I am going to actually use because later it asks that uh, how long will the bar take to reach 98 degree centigrade so I am going to do that one so for example it is asking us what is the time when the temperature becomes 98 degree centigrade so this metal bar is obviously going to uh, keep heating up because the initial temperature uh, of this metal bar was uh, 20 degree centigrade this was initially 20 here everywhere it is 100 so the metal bar is going to eventually heat up to 
near 100 degree centigrade so they are they are asking that uh, how long will it take to approximately uh, achieve the temperature of 100 which is let's say 98 degrees so we have to solve this problem and the time that we want to find out i'm naming that time as tx right so first of all we know the uh, law uh, newton's law of cooling and warming so i'm going to use that so dt by dt equal to k times capital t minus by the way this is a function of time and this is also a function of time so the ambient temperature is given as 100 so i'm going to instead of tm i'm going to write 100 so then uh, what do we need to do we need to solve this differential equation and then we can go any uh, further so i'm going to rearrange these things like 1 over t minus 100 d capital t equal to k dt i have just rearranged i have took this thing over here and all of this thing uh, down here so then i can take integral on both sides and i get natural log of t minus 100 equal to k t plus c so if you are confused about the integral of uh, the you know t minus 100 instead of t so i'll uh, explain to you a bit so if i assume that u equals t minus 100 i can take derivative on both sides and i get du equal to dt right so if i translate all of this in terms of u i'm going to get integral 1 over u du and if i solve this i will get natural log of u and if i replace t minus 100 is instead of this u i'm going to get uh, this thing natural log of t minus 100 so now i take uh, make all of this uh, equation a power of uh, exponential function e so on the left hand side i am left with t minus 100 i have explained this step uh, a couple of times in my pre previous video in this playlist so please if you want uh, to understand it better you please go back and watch those videos um, on the right hand side i get e to the power kt into a constant of integration c a new constant with respect to this but it's okay to write uh, the same c over here so then i'm going to write t equal to c e to the power kt plus 100 and when we reach this point we have actually what we call the general solution so now now we want to find the values of this constant and this constant so these are two arbitrary constants and we want to find the values of these arbitrary constants right so what do we do first we use the initial value which is given to us and the initial value was t of 0 equal to 20 degrees centigrade so let's use that in this general solution which is t equal to c e to the power k t plus 100 so i'm using uh, so if i write down t of 0 instead of small t i'm using 0 so uh, t of 0 was 20 degrees equal to c e to the power instead of this small t i will have to write a 0 so k times 0 plus 100 so 20 equals c and so anything raised to the power 0 will be 1 right so here i'm going to get a 1 c into 1 plus 100 so if i evaluate the value of c from here i get minus 8t minus 80 right so uh, the general solution now becomes t equal to minus 80 e to the power kt plus 100 right so now i'm interested in finding the value of k so for that i'm going to use the information which was given here that after one second the temperature increase temperature of the metal bar increases to two degrees more than previous one so t of one in this equation if i use t of one equal to minus 80 e to the power instead of small t i'm going to now use one because i am uh, using this equation at small t equal to 1 plus 100 and t of 1 is given to t of 1 is given to us as 22 equal to minus 80 e to the power k plus 100 
So if I rearrange all of this, I get e to the power k equal to 78 divided by 100. I get minus 80 e to the power k equal to minus 78 and e to the power k equal to minus 7, 78 divided by 80. Right, so if I rearrange this, uh, so if I take natural log on both sides, so I get the value of k as minus 0 0.02, right? So now the solution is slightly more, uh, you know, it's uh, the solution is now much better. It uh, All the arbitrary constants are now calculated. So the capital T is now minus 80 e to the power minus 0 0.02 t plus 100. So now the question was, how long will it take for this temperature to become 98 degree centigrade? Right? So I will be using instead of small t a tx now and I will be equating all of this with a temperature of 98 degree centigrade. So 98 equals minus 80 e to the power minus 0 0.02 tx plus 100. So just like before, I'm going to solve this equation and I get, so 100 goes to the other side and 198 minus 100 will be minus 2. So minus 80 e minus 0 0.02 tx equal to minus 2. So this becomes, so the value of tx will be natural log of 1 over 40 divided by minus 0 0.02 and the value comes out to be 145 seconds approximately right so this is our answer and uh, i hope you understood this and uh, you can map this problem to uh, the similar problems of uh, heating and cooling subscribe to stay connected and uh, hope to see you in the next video